There is no such thing as lightning protection as such. Mm. Uh, well, what we do is we try to minimize the potential for damage. Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert series here at Boat How To. We're uh, Nigel and Jan, Hi. and we're here to answer your questions about boat electrics. Now, today we got a question um, where somebody as my power boat was struck by lightning for the second time in two years, <laughs> poor guy, uh, resulting in major electrical and some structural damage. The boat sits on a lift out of the water and is therefore not grounded. I have considered putting up some kind of lightning rod leading to ground or water that could be unplugged upon leaving the pier. Would that be helpful or do you have any suggestions how to prevent lightning strikes or minimize the damage if there is a strike? Well, two lightning strikes in a year, that's or in two years, that's actually... Yeah. Two, two expensive strikes. Big. Yeah. There is no such thing as lightning protection as such. Mm. Uh, well, what we do is we try to minimize the potential for damage. And in order to do that, we have the classic approach. You have a lightning rod at the highest point on the boat. Mm -hmm. And you have a heavy-duty conductor down to some uh, metal plate that's immersed in the water. And you hope that if you get hit, that uh, you'll conduct that strike safely to the water. Mm. And typically speaking, uh, you can protect the boat from structural damage, which I see he had. Mm -hmm. uh, but in all likelihood, you'll get uh, induced voltages on the boat's wiring and, and you'll get ex a fair amount of electronic and other damage on the yeah. boat. Yeah, it's um, really hard to protect yes, the electric, yeah. uh, and electrics and electronic systems. I think it's... Uh, and particularly on a power boat, mm -hmm. you know, on a sailboat, you've got a a high point because you've got the mast. Mm. So you stick a lightning rod on the top of the mast and mm. you can be reasonably certain that in the event of a lightning strike, you'll be able to direct it to mm -hmm. the masthead and down to the water. He's asking, can he erect a, a lightning rod leading to ground uh, on the boat? Because it's on a hoist. Mm -hmm. It would have to be high enough to protect the boat, which means it's got to be fairly high, mm -hmm. and then he'd have to have a pretty solid path to ground. He's talking about plugging it in and unplugging it, mm -hmm. but we're talking uh, a four gauge conductor, uh, 20 mil mm -hmm. squared, pretty, um, big. pretty big conductor, big plug. You need a good electrical connection, mm -hmm. uh, good ground plate. Uh, it, it sounds a little impractical. Mm -hmm. What he could do is elect a permanent lightning rod on the dock alongside the boat mm -hmm. that's much higher. Mm -hmm. But even there, uh, if, if lightning strikes it, there's likely to be damage on the boat. And we had our boat on a hard beside an office building one time that got hit and it, it blew the uh, outlets out of the wall in the office building. I mean, it was a major strike. Um, didn't hit our boat, but uh, we, did, we got electronic damage on the boat just from the induced voltages no. um, that would occur. So uh, no. I'm not sure he, what he obviously needs is a very good insurance policy. <laughs> yeah. But, right. Well, yeah, I mean, yes. basically, I mean, we mm. talk about lightning protection right. in, in our advanced marine electrics yeah. course, and there we also mention this kind of rolling ball concept. So yes. if you want to place a lightning rod somewhere at the dock, it would need to be pretty close to the boat and pretty high. It's and pretty have, high, yeah. yes. So. And it would need a very good connection to ground. Mm -hmm. And it's still not going to protect the electronics. And if you want to do that, then we get into surge protection devices. And, and that's a fairly complicated field, yeah. um, in which we're not experts, yeah. and, and which is not much kit available for boats. There is getting to be more kit now that we have a lot of solar installations mm -hmm. on shore. Which are also DC powered. Which yeah. are all DC and they need surge protection. Mm -hmm. So we are getting some devices out of the solar field that are appropriate for boats, but um, they've not yet been widely adapted or... or adopted so yeah. not great news for no. for people boating in florida or in places where lightning is pretty common um still i mean there's some stuff that you can yeah. do and if you want to learn more about that check out our module on lightning protection yeah. in our advanced marine electrics course my uh, brother's boat got hit on the hard mm -hmm. a sailboat mm -hmm. uh, and it vaporized his masthead vhf antenna yeah. and um, did thirty thousand dollars worth of damage to the electronics on the boat um, I hope he had a good insurance. <laughs> he had a good insurance. Yeah. Fingers crossed that right. you don't get hit. Lightning protection is kind of a, a topic that's, yeah, if you deal with forces of nature, it's really hard yes. to, to do something. Like. And it's expensive to put in a decent lightning protection system because mm. you're not just putting in the, the uh, lightning rod and the conductor and the ground plate. You then need to tie in the rigging and yeah. the other well, metal pieces the boat. Metal pieces, To yeah. do the job 
properly uh, and it's a fairly extensive amount of wiring, um, particularly uh, if it's a, a second hand boat, doing it after the fact is a lot easier when it's new. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still a lot of wiring. I mean, you might need to remove some furniture to, <laughs> to do the wiring job, so yeah. It's a big job, which is probably why most boats don't have a lightning protection yeah. system. Yeah. Um, we'd like to see more of them, but yeah. Anyways, check us out at boathowto.com. And we also do have some topics where there's actually more that you can do and that are kind of, uh, yeah, definitely more effective than, <laughs> than lightning protection. Anyways, thanks, Nigel. Okay. See you soon for another video.